Hello everyone, it is your ambassador for Christ, Erica Rogers, right here on Transformation TV. I hope all of you have been well today. I'm not going to keep you long today. We're going to jump right into this message. So the, the title of this message is, call, is called Friends with Enemies or being friends with your enemies, being friends with your enemies. I'm not sure if um, some of you know, but when Jesus Christ was here on earth, he had disciples. He had 12 dis disciples. I'm pretty sure the basic knowledge, a lot of people know that. Some people don't know that. But one of his disciples' name was Judas. And the role of Judas um, in, the, in the ministry of Christ while he was here was to be his treasurer. What is a treasurer? A treasurer is a modern day accounting. So he kept the books for Jesus Christ. He kept the books of what went out in the ministry ministry or what came in the ministry. So he was Jesus Christ's book tree keeper, excuse me. And another name for that is a treasurer. So if you all have your B-I-B-L-E's, if you can just open up your Bible and turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 22 and verse two, and I have an amplified Bible. So I'm going to be reading from the amplified version. So let's just go into the word of God. So in Luke chapter 22, verse two, it reads, and the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to do away with Jesus, for they feared the people. Verse 3, but then Satan entered into Judas, who was one of the twelve apostles. And he went away and discussed with the chief priests and captains how he might be how how he might betray him, how he might how he might betray Jesus and deliver him, Jesus, up to them, the priest. And they were delighted and pledged themselves to give him money. So they pledged to Judas that he, they were going to give him 30 pieces of silver if he would turn over Jesus Christ to them. So he agreed to do this and sought an opportunity to betray him, to betray who? To betray Jesus to them. Who was them? The Pharisees. Without an uprising in the absence of the throngs. So what they wanted to do, they planned. So Jesus Christ, the son of God, his disciple Judas got with the Pharisees and the religious leaders and they planned how they were going to get rid of Jesus. But they wanted to do it in such a way where the followers of Jesus, the people who was always around Jesus, seeing Jesus do the miracles, Jesus was healing them and ministering to them and forgiving their sins. They wanted to make sure that that crowd was not around and would not stop them from getting to Jesus. So they came up with a plan. OK, how are we going to do this? Because, you know, people are always around him. So if you would turn again with me in your Bible. Still chapter 22, Luke chapter 22, and I'm going to pick up in verse 47. So chapter, so Luke 22, verse 47, and it reads, And while he was still speaking, behold, there came a crowd and the man called Judas, one of the 12 apostles, was going before leading them. Who leading who he was leading the religious officials. He was leading the Pharisees, the ones who wanted to kill Jesus. And he, he meaning Judas, drew near to Jesus to kiss him. See, that was the plan. They said, you're going to lead us to Jesus where he's going to be. You know where he's going to be. And whichever one of these 12 are Jesus, Judas, you just walk up and you just kiss him and then we'll grab him. But Jesus said to him, Judas. Would you betray and deliver me up, up the son of man with a kiss? And when those who were around him saw what was about to happen, they said, Lord, shall we strike them with the sword? And I said, no, because we know that all along, that was the plan of God was to have Jesus Christ crucified. So I just want to let you know that you may have some Judas's in your life. You may have um, friends that are really your enemies. and you, you may not think that you know. Maybe you don't even really need to know. But you know what? God knows who they are and God knows the attention of their heart. And God will make your enemy your footstool. Come on, somebody. He will do that very thing. What is your job in all this? Your job is to love them and to forgive them. You may have to distance yourself from them. You may have to say, you know what? I forgive you and I love you. I truly do. But I'm not going to partake in your deception. I'm not going to partake in it. So what, what was the final outcome to, to Judas? What happened to Judas? I'm not going to read. I'm going to just tell you. But I want you to go. I want you to read it. 
So if you turn in Matt, um, the book of Matthew, chapter 27, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, verses three, three through 10, excuse me, Judas actually hang himself. himself. So <coughs> Judas hangs himself. He's trying to go back to the religious leaders and give them back their money, the 30 pieces of silver. And then he's so condemned that he hangs himself. My God, I'm going to tell you this. People who hate you, people who betray you after you've done them so well, they will always hang themselves. They're not going to really have a leg to stand on because if, they're, if they have any consciousness, they are going to, they're going to hang themselves in the end. Now, we can't not go back and talk about uh, Judas. In chapter in Luke chapter 22, verse 3, it said, But then Satan entered into Judas. So he was influenced by the spirit of Satan. And if you go back and some of my videos, I talk about the spirit, different types of spirits. They enter people. Spirits cannot dwell without a body. That's why we are so valuable to Christ. And that's why we are so valuable to evil forces because they need a body in order to operate in the earth. They do. Jesus, Jesus Christ was God in human form in a body operating in this earth for us to get the keys to the kingdom. He, he truly was. So I just want to encourage somebody today that you may have friends that are really your enemies or frenemies. Some people call them. I just want you to know that in the end, it's going to work out to your good because the, the word talks about the word it says, um, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So if you are one of those people who love the Lord, you, you better know that it's going to work out for your good anyway. So what is your position? Your position is to love them, forgive them, and you may have to distance yourself you know, from them. You don't want to be around that foolishness. This has been Erica Rogers right here on Transformation TV. I hope you guys got something out of this. Send me an email. Let me help you with this thing we call L-I-F-E Life. I am available here to help you. I want to encourage you today. I also want to ask you, if you were to die today, if you were to die in the next hour, two hours, or the next day, the next 24 hours, the next year, the next month, where would your soul go? Where would your home be? Would it be in heaven or would it be in hell? Sin can't send you to hell, but rejecting Jesus, that would send people to hell. So I just want to take this opportunity. Everything that I do, everything you see me preach about here is all to bring the word to God. It's all about Jesus. It's never about me. And so I cannot leave this broadcast today. I cannot leave Transformation TV today on April the 2nd of 2017 without offering Christ to you. So if you would like to receive Christ, you just lift your hands and you repeat after me. According to Romans 10, 9 and 10, re repeat after me. Our Father in heaven, I am a sinner. I need you. I confess all of my sins, known and unknown. I believe Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus died for me and all of my sins, and God raised Jesus from the dead. I take and invite Jesus into my life and my heart. I exchange my sins for your grace and your salvation. I am now saved and transformed. Everything has been set right in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer with your whole heart, you are saved. Now, you may have some things... The sin nature is still there. Why? Because now you have to renew your mind. How do you renew your mind? By reading the word of God. I would encourage you to get into a church that actually teaches and preaches the word of God rightly, rightly dividing the word of God. If I can help you on this walk, we call LIFE with your new salvation. You're born again. You're a new babe. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. Please send me an email. Let me help you. Let me send you some information to help you. Let me answer some of your questions. Send me an email. I will respond. I don't have an assistant. It's me that's responding. I am behind the computer responding to you. So send me an email. TTCChange at Yahoo.com. And this has been Erica Rogers right here on Transformation TV saying that I love you and that's not a darn thing you can do about it. And remember, go and grow in grace, love, and favor. 
And I just pray God's blessing on you. I pray that his light shines upon you. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, be glory, majesty, dominion, power now forevermore. I pray for extravagant favors to overtake your life this week. I pray that you will let the Lord Jesus Christ lead you in every step of your way and every decision you make. In Jesus' name, I pray blessings upon you now. Amen. This has been Erica Rogers. Make it a great week.